always on is a feature that keeps your REPL up and running all the time. What's the default behavior of a REPL then? Well, each REPL takes a bunch of virtual resources from the pool available to it. And of course, when you're not using it, we turn it off and it goes to sleep. You may have seen this animation many times when going to your REPL for the first time and hitting run or going to your website and announced. That's the default behavior of a REPL. But if you're dealing in Discord bots or websites or web servers, that's not the best behavior. We want it to always be available to us and ready to go. That's where always on comes in. A toggle that you can switch to make sure your REPL is always on. Let's take a look at what happens when I visit my website unannounced. I'll type my website into the URL bar and I have to wait. Once it's woken up though, the website loads. Now, if I go back to that website immediately, it'll just load. The problem comes when no one's visited the website for a significant amount of time and the REPL goes to sleep. Well, once again, any visitor to your site is getting the waking up menu, which isn't the best customer experience. So what we need to do is click on the name slug, click the slider on always on, and we get prompted with this message. So I'll flip it on for this REPL and now it's always on. So if I go to my website at any time of the day, it should return to me instantly without that waking up screen. How about something a bit more intense, like a Discord bot? I've got a very simple Discord bot here, which picks up on common pedantic phrases and tells the user not to be pedantic. Uh, a common thing, unfortunately, when I'm teaching computer science concepts. Now, when I run my Discord bot, it connects to my server and watches the comments. If I say hello, the bot will pick it up and understand it. If any of the words on line six are in the comments, such as here, it'll spam the user with messages to stop being pedantic. Of course, eventually I'll close the REPL down and it'll be left on its own for a while. At that point, the REPL will go to sleep. It'll turn itself off. And then on my server, anyone can be as pedantic as they like. And that's not what we want from a Discord bot. It should be online and scanning the conversation all the time. So let's make it always on. We'll click the switch and pay those 20 cycles a day. You'll notice straight away the REPL runs. And now my user can't beat my anti-pedant bot. But always on doesn't mean that the REPL is literally always turned on. At some point, the REPL does need to be moved from cluster to cluster to make sure that resources are being used and managed effectively. So the REPL will still turn off occasionally. What always on does for us though, is immediately turn it back on with no interaction from the user, meaning very little downtime. Now that's important because we need to understand that because a fragile setup won't work very well with always on. We need to be sure that clicking the run button will reliably get our Discord bot or our web server back online and running. How do we get an idea about what's turned on and how many times it's restarted itself? We can find that out from my REPLs and status. All of your recently opened REPLs will be in there and you'll notice a green light and always on on our always on REPL so you can immediately see what they are. You can click restart from this page to restart any server that's got a bit stuck and you can click the arrow to reveal a full list of when the REPL was pinged and what status it was in. And you'll see here, it's been awake for quite a while. This will help you debug any problems with your REPL or check if you've got multiple that are always on, which ones are up and running and which ones need to be adjusted. How about a web server then? Because that's a bit more involved than just a website. And if a website is affected by always on not being enabled, then a web server definitely is. Here's an example of a simple chat server we wrote as part of the 100 days of code. It's using REPL auth, so that pops up straight away and we can log in and we can authorize it, but then we hit the REPL waking up screen. And that's even more frustrating in my opinion because you've gone through the process of logging in and then you're having to wait even further to get into the site. Of course, eventually it loads. Let's turn it always on and see how that differs. So we'll turn it on, we'll pay our two cycles a day and let's go and log in as a different user. So immediately I've got my REPL auth, I'll authorize and straight away, I'm in an access in the contents of the server. No wake up needed. Now this is much preferable to what it was before. Having REPLs that are always on mean that your customers and users always have access to your content at the drop of a hat. Of course, combine that with boosts and you've got a much more responsive server. The only thing you've got to remember is that you should configure your run button. When the run button is clicked, it follows instructions from your .replit file. 
which you can access by clicking the kebab button on the file pane, clicking show hidden files, and scrolling down to the .replit file. The .replit file has a bunch of different things, and I'll link the documentation below to how to set that up. You'll see that on line two here, we have the ability to attach a run command to the button. However, Python, being a bit more complicated, has a bit more settings on that. And we're using the compiler options to set that up. On most REPLs, you'll be able to customize the run button to do exactly what you want to do. Be that install certain libraries, run it in certain ways, and pipe any information you want to the console. I have some server REPLs that just use a .sh file to completely configure how it's going to run from the run button. And that gives you a lot more power to configure what you want and when you want it. Take the code for my web server and run it with and without always on. See the difference it makes. Your challenge today is to build a simple web server that utilizes always on. Now you've seen the website, is it Christmas? Let's build, is it my birthday? A simple website that checks the current date and tells it whether it is your birthday or not. Ideal for sending to your friends and family, but they're not gonna wait around for the REPL to wake up. So turn always on, send that link out, and make sure that they're able to check every day to see if it is your birthday. Tomorrow, we'll be looking at the greatest power-up of all, private REPLs. That's right, keep your code to yourself.